Everything around you, from your phone to your clothes, is built from tiny building blocks called atoms. But how do we know how these atoms are arranged? These atoms like to hang out in specific spots within a material, often, in repeating patterns. That's where Bragg's law comes in. It is a principle, that helps us understand, how light interacts with these orderly atomic arrangements. It was the father-son duo, Lawrence Bragg and William Henry Bragg, English physicists, who formulated Bragg's law in 1913. While Lawrence often gets the credit, their collaborative work revolutionized our understanding of crystals, and X-ray diffraction. In geology, the application of Bragg's law continues to be a powerful tool, for unlocking the secrets of crystals and minerals, revealing their composition and structure. You can picture this thing in your mind. Tiny building blocks called atoms, huddle together inside crystals, not randomly, but in neat, repeating patterns. Think of it as a microscopic brick wall. Each crystal has its own unique atomic arrangement. To understand how these atoms are positioned, scientists imagine the material as a stack of thin and flat slices, with atoms lining up on each slice. These slices are all spaced evenly apart. This simplified model, called a crystal lattice, helps us use the X-rays, to study the material's structure. The X-rays interact with the atoms in a special way, and that's where Bragg's law comes in. To understand Bragg's law, we need some background on X-rays and diffraction. Let's explore these concepts first. Imagine light, but way more powerful. The X-rays are a kind of invisible light, with wavelengths much shorter than what our eyes can see. Because they're so tiny, the X-rays can squeeze between atoms in a material, which help us to see the atomic world. Let's take a quick look at what wavelength is. It's just the distance between two repeating parts of a wave, as shown in this diagram. Now, picture a wave hitting a row of closely spaced obstacles, like water waves hitting rocks. The waves might bend or even spread out after passing the rocks. This bending and spreading of waves is called, diffraction. Now, when X-rays shoot through a crystal, they interact with the atoms in a special way. Because the atoms are lined up in neat rows, the X-rays bend, and spread out in a specific pattern. This pattern, called an X-ray diffraction pattern, is like a fingerprint of the crystal's atomic structure. By analyzing this diffraction pattern, the scientists can use Bragg's law, to figure out the exact distances between the atomic rows, and how the atoms are arranged within the crystal. It's like using X-rays, to decode the secret code of how atoms are positioned in a material. Bragg's law equation is fundamental to understanding the behavior of the X-rays, when they interact with crystal lattices. The equation links the wavelength of the incident X-rays, the angle of incidence, and the interplanar spacing in a crystal, through which the X-rays pass. Imagine a crystal as a giant, orderly stack of atoms, arranged in neat rows and layers. The distance between these layers is crucial, and is called, D. Now, picture the X-rays with a specific wavelength, lambda, shining on this crystal, like light on a mirror. The X-rays bounce off the crystal, at the same angle they hit it. But here's the cool part. If the X-rays travel a specific distance between atomic layers in the crystal, and that distance matches a whole number of their wavelengths, they all hit together and create a strong signal. This is called constructive interference. You can think of it like soldiers marching in step, and their movements amplifying each other. So, Bragg's law helps us understand, as to when, this bouncing creates a strong signal. The law is usually expressed, using the following mathematical formula. In this formula, n is the order of reflection, which is a positive integer. Lambda is the wavelength of the incident X-ray, and d is the spacing between the crystal planes. Both are measured in angstroms. Finally, theta is the angle between the incident ray and the scattering planes, and it is measured in degrees. This equation might look simple, but it's incredibly powerful. It helps scientists unlock the secrets of crystals in many different ways. 
Because the distances between atoms in a crystal are super tiny, the most suitable wavelength for crystallographic studies lies in the X-ray region, which have short wavelengths. That's why X-rays are the perfect tool for this job. To understand Bragg's law better, pause now and check out this helpful example. These are some of the applications of Bragg's law in the field of geology. Bragg's law might seem complex, but it's a fundamental principle that helps us understand the world around us, atom by atom.